Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some leaks from the Supergirl set for Episode 6 of Season 6. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Remember guys, you can join the channel and become a member and support the DC TV show by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button on the channel. Thank you for the support and thank you to all of you who support via the live streams or just watching any of the videos just by you watching it supports the channel and keeps it going. So thank you all, especially people like Gary and Paige who consistently support every Thursday on the live streams. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Alright, let's go ahead and get into today's topic. So recently we've been seeing some behind the scenes looks at Supergirl at their new season, the final season. So currently right now they're up to episode 6 of season 6 that they've been filming. Melissa hasn't been on set for any of those episodes yet. They've been going along at a very fast pace because basically they've caught up to like The Flash and pretty much, you know, you know, they're going at a pretty fast pace compared to what they normally would. I don't think they would have been up to episode 6 having started just a few months ago, and that is mainly due to them having to not shoot all the episodes in full. That's because Melissa is coming back in January, and I do believe it's their intent that they're going to go back when Melissa comes, and they're going to go back and film like episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, episode 4, episode 5, episode 6. Some episodes are going to have less Melissa in it. So that's kind of to be expected, but at the same time, because it's Supergirl's final season, I don't think they're going to exclude her from six whole episodes, you know? because they're only going to shoot six and Melissa will be back because currently Supergirl is set to go on break, well their cast is set to go on break in six days time on the 18th and they're going to be having a month long break. That is a long break and they're going to be coming back in January to shoot on January 18th. That's when production is projected to start so that means Melissa will be back in Vancouver approximately two weeks before that. So, you know, right at the start of January after you have New Year. So a few days after New Year, essentially, we'll see Melissa back in Vancouver. I'm sure she's going to post about it. So yeah, not very long until Melissa comes back, less than a month because she has to do a two week quarantine. So in about two and a half weeks, we're going to see Melissa come back. And that's going to be very exciting for all of us. But yeah, so they've been filming without her. And they're currently on episode 6. This episode is being directed by Kyla Lee. And this is a kind of Danvers flashback episode. But at the same time, they have something going on with Nia and Brainy in this episode. Nia and Brainy were actually spotted filming in some of the same scenes as young Kara and young Alex. So that's interesting. Again, I've theorized about this. You can go check out my video the other day where I talk about the first leaks from the set because we got our first set photos. And so that was from episode six. And we saw that they were back and, you know, we had our normal cast members, but at the same time as, you know, our past cast members, that being Isabella Vidovic and Olivia Nakanan, who played the young versions of Kara and Alex. So that's all interesting. But the main reason I wanted to bring it up in this video is Yes, they are filming this episode and they're going to be finishing it this week in six days time. That's when production wraps, they're going to go on that break. But basically, Jesse Rev posted this Instagram photo just two days ago. I've been meaning to talk about it and some of you guys asked me on the live stream and I was like, you know, I can't really answer this because this is a topic that I'm going to talk about. Well, we're finally here. Why is he wearing this black suit? What's going on? It really does look like a funeral. I really feel like that was the first impression that it gives off. And if that is true, whose funeral is it? So that's interesting. And, you know, we've had many funerals in the past, as naturally with these CW shows, and especially the Arrowverse shows, they're in danger a lot. And so everyone is up for grabs in terms of being in danger. So we've actually talked about who could be on the chopping block in the past. And we made a video the other day talking about that, actually, like a less than a week ago or something. And so, basically, I don't think anyone specifically is higher than each other. Again, Supergirl has the chance to die, but then come back. So, that's always a chance. Maybe something like that happened. However, I think it's unlikely, and I don't know who specifically it is. But a good theory could be it's someone to do with Nia's family members, maybe. Because Brainy doesn't have many family members. 
and apparently they were the only cast members, well, at least main cast members, to be filming in episode 6. Obviously, Melissa might go back and shoot some stuff for that episode, but it doesn't seem like David Harewood was in this episode and everything, so maybe it's something more closer to the Nia Nell family, because Brainy is there, obviously, if they have rekindled their relationship, he's going to be with Nia a lot, and he's definitely going to go to a funeral if it was one of Nia's family members, which seems like the best option as of right now. Obviously, it's not ideal for that character, but in terms of the story, that is kind of exciting because when there is a death in the shows, and specifically to do with the Arrowverse, it's very dramatic and it causes a lot of good story to come. You know, it puts an interesting kind of gap in the characters and moves them along nicely. So, yeah, I think my main theory as to who it could be would be one of Nia's family members for the funeral. And so, presumably, due to the way he's dressed, He's not going to be at a wedding, because I don't think he's going to be looking that kind of somber. You know, obviously you can wear black to a wedding, but it just really doesn't give off that vibe like it's a wedding. And if it was a wedding like, you know, Kara and mon or someone like that, I don't think they would have done it in a flashback episode, you know? So I feel like it's someone kind of important, but not that important. So that's why I'm swinging towards the Nia side of it, because we've seen her family members like once, and they weren't such big things since then, but they're big enough to have some sort of impact on the show and the way it goes forwards. So I think that's the best thing as of right now. Obviously, all of this and Jesse filming definitely spoils the fact that at the end of last season, Brainy definitely didn't die, and it's not going to be Brainy's because he is there. Alright, so yeah, that's all interesting. Let me know your theories in the comments down below. Do you think it's a funeral? Do you think it's a wedding? Do you think it's some sort of party? I guess that's another option that could happen, but if it's just those two and he's looking so kind of dapper in his suit or kind of somber if it is a funeral, like, I don't know why he's wearing that to a party, so... It seems like some sort of event that's either wedding or funeral, more likely to be funeral. So let me know who do you think it is and do you think that it is one of Nia's family members? Would you say that's a pretty good guess considering the only main cast members in the episode as far as we know is Nicole Maines and Jessie Rath. Also Melissa on her Instagram jumping to another thing. She actually posted this story, she got some sort of thing to help her work out or something. And basically, she said in that post that she was getting back in shape or something, you know, getting ready to come back and film for Supergirl and be, you know, in the suit once again because it's been quite a long time. When did they stop filming? Like, March or something? So, it's been a while and obviously she's got to train a bit to get back into shape as to the best she can. And so again, that's a good sign. She's coming back pretty soon to Vancouver, and considering we have the official start date after their break, which is the 18th of January, that means that Melissa will be back at the start of January, like I previously mentioned. And so the other thing is, David Harewood has been confirmed to direct one of the next episodes after the break, as he was added onto the schedule in terms of who is directing the episodes. They keep on regularly updating those, and that's how we got to find out that Kyla was directing, and so this is how we found out that David is directing. And on that same production schedule, they put the hiatus days as well. So it's a very reliable source, and it's exciting that David is coming back to direct. I kind of presumed he was going to come back to direct, considering it's Supergirl's last season, and he's directed a few episodes. I'm presuming Melissa's going to direct an episode later in the season, considering she had a great time directing last year and I'm sure she'll have a great time directing again, and I think they would be totally down for that because they let Kyla direct, David's directing again, and then you have people like David Ramsey who is going to come in and direct an episode of Supergirl and an episode of all the other shows as far as we know. Also, he's going to show up, and so maybe Melissa might direct one of his episodes or David might direct that. I think that would be a cool crossover if one of them was directing, you know, like a crossover episode. I think that would be extra cool in my opinion. But yeah, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to tune into the live streams every Thursday. You can check them out on Playback, which is up on the channel right now because we did one this Thursday. Once again, thank you for all of your support, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.